In this video, you'll learn how to make your Zoom meetings more interactive using Zoom's annotation toolbar. This toolbar allows hosts and participants to add annotations on a shared screen or whiteboard, which can assist you in making your meeting more interactive. Annotations that can be added to a shared screen via the toolbar include text, drawings, shapes, and stamps. You also have access to tools to spotlight information on your screen via the annotation toolbar. But before we take a look at this tool, let's make sure that our annotation feature is enabled in Zoom. To do so, open a web browser and head to stonybrook.zoom.us. Once you're there, find the button that says Sign In to access your profile. Once in your profile, to the left of the screen, find the option labeled Settings. In your settings, go to the search bar and type in Annotation. Here we can see that the Annotation tool is enabled. However, we also need to view additional settings that relate to this tool. The first is a checkbox asking if we would like the ability to take a screenshot of our shared screen with annotations. We'll leave this checked off. The second is asking if we would like only one person sharing their screen to have access to the annotation toolbar instead of all participants. This option may be preferred if you would like to have a lecture without any distractions. However, if you would like your meeting to be more collaborative, then this box option should not be checked. Now that we have reviewed our settings, let's review how we can access the annotation toolbar as the individual sharing our screen, and as a participant viewing another screen. As the person sharing their screen, select the Share Screen button and choose what screen you would like to share. Please note that while you're selecting a screen, you also have the ability to share a whiteboard that is built into Zoom, which gives you a blank canvas to use the annotation tools on. But for now, let's select one of my other screens. Once you have begun sharing, a new option on your Zoom toolbar will appear that says Annotate. Select this option to access the annotation toolbar. Now we can see the annotation toolbar displayed on my screen. Now let's see how a participant can access the annotation toolbar while someone else is sharing their screen. You can do this by selecting the option at the top of the screen that says View Options. Once clicked, select Annotate to access the annotation toolbar. Now that we've learned how to access the annotation toolbar, let's take a look at some of its features, starting with adding text. If we click the T icon that says Text, we can click anywhere on the screen, and a text box will appear. We can then type in this text box, and what we type will be viewable to all participants in the meeting. In addition, if we also click the Format button on the toolbar, we can change the color of the text, make our text bold, make our text italicized, and change its size. Another tool we have access to is the Drawing tool. By hovering our mouse over the squiggly line that says Draw, we have the option to choose if we would like to freehand draw over the screen or insert a shape. Let's see how this looks if I choose a freehand draw option. Now let's see how this looks if I insert a shape. I also have the ability, like with the text tool, 
to change the format of my drawing or shape by hovering over the format option. Here I can change the color, and I can also choose how thick the line is for my shape or drawing. Another option you can use on the toolbar is the stamp feature. By hovering over the check mark that says stamp, you'll see six different options to choose from. An arrow, a check mark, an X, a star, a heart, and a question mark. By choosing one of these options, you can insert these icons or stamps to the screen. Watch as I insert a few stamps on my favorite season. Now that we've seen how we can insert text, drawings, and stamps, let's check out some additional tools using Zoom's whiteboard feature. On the screen, you can see some content that I added to the whiteboard. If I wanted to move anything, I can choose the Select option on the toolbar, and then I can click on the content that I wish to move by dragging it and dropping it on the screen. If I wanted to remove a drawing on the screen, I can select the eraser icon and click on the content that I want to remove. I can also bulk erase annotations on the screen by hovering over the trash can icon that says clear. From here I have three different options. I can choose to clear all of my drawings, all of my viewers' drawings, or all drawings on the screen. I'm going to choose all drawings. But let's say I didn't actually mean to delete those drawings, and I wanted to restore them. By selecting the Undo button, I can bring back everything that I deleted. But if it was truly meant to be deleted, I can just choose Redo. If I wanted to take a screenshot of the screen that I'm sharing with all content we added using the annotation tool, we can easily do so by heading over to the Save button on the annotation toolbar. While here, you'll notice a small downward facing chevron. If I click on this, it gives me the option to save this screenshot as a PNG or PDF file. Once I select which I would like, I'll hit the Save button. Now I have confirmation that this has been saved, and if I select Show in Folder, I can open the screenshot directly. The last feature of the Annotation Toolbar is the Spotlight feature. By hovering my mouse over the area that says Spotlight, I have three options I can choose from. The first is the Spotlight Pen. By clicking on this, it adds a red dot to my mouse that follows it wherever it goes on the screen. This makes it easier for participants to see where my mouse is currently displayed. The second feature is the arrow. When this is selected, if I click anywhere on the screen, it will add an arrow with my name on it. This is showing that I'm pointing to particular pieces of information on the screen. I can change the color of my arrow using the format option. If I would like to remove the arrow, I can choose the Clear All Drawings option. The last Spotlight tool is the Vanishing Pen. 
This allows me to draw on the screen. And once I release my mouse, the drawing then slowly disappears. This is great to quickly point out information to the participants who are viewing your screen. If I want to change the color of the pen, I can do so by selecting the format option and choosing a new color. I can also choose the line width of my pen as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.